Welcome to this another episode of Smile to Jannah where we discuss a Muslim name ban in China. Smile to Jannah. Now, I came across this article in the Guardian. China bans religious names for Muslim babies in Xinjiang. At first, I thought I traveled back into time where this sort of nonsense was actually considered okay. But then I realized, ah, it's just the global dehumanization of the Muslims. So, I guess it's okay. So here are a few laws that are imposed upon the Xinjiang. No, that's the province. The Uyghur. Yeah, that's the name of the people. I saw this article and then I was like, you know what, this is crazy. Because I've been seeing articles being shared all over social media, but sadly because it's not BBC, Fox or Channel 4 or Telegraph, obviously our brain is conditioned into thinking it's not news. So this time I saw it and I was like, this is getting ridiculous now. Some of the stuff they're imposing on the Muslims. Obviously the first one, like we discussed, if your child has a Muslim name that is on the list that the government is going to release, your child will be denied education and government benefits. Are you serious? How is that going to stop terrorism? If you're a man and you're under 60, you're banned from growing a beard. Women are forbidden to wear the niqab. Hajj can only be done if the government organizes it. Men under 18 can't go to the mosque to pray. Islam can't be taught in schools because it's not like true education solves anything, does it? <laughs> Mm. Now, before you start getting upset and frustrated, it's okay mate, because China says it's trying to tackle a terrorist threat. And the solution China poses is to call your kids Jackie and Bruce, scrape the hair off their face and make their wives get their milk cartons out. Come on China, you gave us Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. But their backup plan is if things don't work out, and people start getting a bit more extreme, don't worry man, do what the rest of these guys do on YouTube. Just blame Islam and blame the Muslims. We're in the 21st century where we're supposed to be much more smarter and evolved. Of course there's a problem, no one's gonna deny there's not a problem, but let's start tackling the root cause. It's causes like this. When Muslims are being told on the one hand they have freedom of religion, but on the other hand it's being taken from them. And then when we speak out, shh, 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 shh. jihad, extremist, terrorist, ISIS, copy paste, copy paste. Let's be a bit more realistic and let's try to educate ourselves by reading, by encouraging our population to study and learn about this beautiful religion of Islam. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.